Hello friends. Today we are going to read the story The Lantern and the Fan. Adapted from a Japanese folk tale, this story shows the interesting origins regarding the lantern and the fan, two of the traditional products found in Japan. It is found in CBC Grade 5 English Reader. Let's start. A long time ago, in a village in Japan, there lived a man who had two sons. The sons grew up and got married. The father was immensely pleased with his two daughters-in-law and for many months they all lived together happily. One day, the old man fell severely ill. The doctor was called, but he couldn't do anything to cure the father. He said that it was an illness for which there was no cure and that he would die soon. The sons and their wives were very sad but nothing could be done. So they decided to take very good care of the old man and keeping keep him as happy as possible. Many months passed and two young women started missing their own families. Among the Japanese, it is a tradition for sons and sons' wives to always obey the father. So the two women went to their father-in-law and expressed their desire to go to their own village. Father-in-law, they said, it has been a long, long time since we have been home. May we go home and visit our family and friends? The father-in-law answered, no. After many months, they asked again. The father-in-law looked solemn and gave the same answer. The whole year went by. The two one, women went and asked yet again. The father-in-law thought, They care nothing for me, or they would not wish to leave me when I am so ill. This thought filled him with sadness. Knowing that his days were numbered, he did not want to spend them all by himself. So he made a plan. A plan to ask the two daughters-in-law to get him things that were impossible to find. Soon, he said to himself, I shall know whether they love me or not. He said to his elder daughter-in-law, You may go if you wish, but you must not come back unless you may bring me fire wrapped in paper. To the younger he said, You may go if you wish, but you must not come back unless you bring me wind wrapped in paper. The two young daughters-in-law were so eager to visit their families and friends that they immediately agreed. The two women had a good time with their families. They forgot all about the gifts. Soon. It was time to go home. The two women were greatly distressed. They asked a wise man whether they could find the bizarre things that their father-in-law had asked for. Paper that holds fire and wind? The wise man cried. There is no such paper in Japan. The two women asked one wise man after another, but all of them expressed their doubts about the existence of such paper. Oh, what will we do? They cried. They feared that they would never see their home again. They were so sad that they left their friends and wandered deep into the forest. The trees were so close together they could barely see through them and thistles pricked them with every step they took. Soon they were completely lost. They sat down under a tree and started crying. All of a sudden, a voice boomed. Weeping is not allowed in my woods. My trees do not thrive in salt water. The poor women were so sorrowful that they even forgot to be afraid of the strange voice in the woods. The elder one replied to the voice, I cannot help crying unless I can I carry fire wrapped in paper. I will never be able to return home. And I, wailed the younger, I will never be able to return home 
unless I carry wind wrapped in paper. None of the wise men we asked have ever heard of such things. What shall we do? Is that all? It is very easy to carry wind and fire and paper, answered the voice. Here is a piece of paper. Now watch. They watched and the weirdest thing in the world happened right before their eyes. There was no one to be seen, but a piece of paper appeared on the ground and folded itself into a Japanese lantern. Now, put a candle inside, said the voice, and you have paper holding fire. What more could you ask for? The old woman exclaimed happily, It is beautiful, is it not? However, the younger was still sad and said, Well, fire can be carried in paper, but surely no one can carry wind. Oh, dear voice, she cried, how can we carry wind in paper? That is much easier than to carry fire, replied the voice. For wind does not burn holes. Watch. They watched eagerly. Another piece of paper appeared and lay on the ground. There was a picture of a tree covered in white blossoms on it. Two women, women stood under the tree gathering the blossoms. The two women are, two, are the two of you, said the voice, and the blossoms are the gifts that your father-in-law will give you when you return home. But I cannot go home, the younger wailed, for I cannot carry wind wrapped in paper. Here is the paper, and there is always plenty of wind. Why not take them? I do not know how. The younger wo woman answered sorrowfully, wiping her tears with a handkerchief. This way, of course, said the voice. Some long, light twigs flew towards the paper. It folded itself over under together. It opened and closed, and it waved itself before the tearful face of the younger woman. Do you feel the wind on your face? asked the voice. The fan has created the wind. Has it not? The lantern carries fire wrapped in paper and the fan carries wind wrapped in paper. The two women were extremely happy and when they returned home, their father-in-law was as glad as they were. He asked the elder daughter-in-law to open his cupboard and take out the bundle that was kept on the lowest shelf. It is for the two of you. Open it, the old man said. It was filled with precious gems and jewels. He smiled at the astonished faces of the two women. No one has ever seen such marvels as the lantern and the fan. But in my home there are two wonders more equisite than these. And they are my two dear daughters-in-law, he said. And that's the end of the story. It was fun reading it, don't you think? Do share your views in the comments section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video for more useful content. That's all folks. Bye bye.